So Tycon Industries has a titanium practice kit that you can order from them and they send you some scrap pieces of tube, some, uh, some filler metal, and some pie cuts. Uh, these, I believe, they clean in an ultrasonic bath and then seal them up so those are ready to weld right out of the package. They also send you two pieces of plate that I've uh, already welded up here. So you can see kind of right here, I've autogenously welded, so I didn't use filler metal here. And then here I used some filler metal. Um, still trying to get it down, but it's not bad. So you want to see these silver colors uh, or some of this uh, brown straw color. You can see on the back side here of this, this is gray dull color. That is a color you do not want. That is bad. Uh, this is just the back side of, of this piece. So you can see I welded this whole piece with filler metal here. And um, I got the silvers, some browns there, a little bit of purple. Um, I guess it's not unacceptable within the motorsports industry, so you'd be fine if you saw a little bit of that as well. But again, none of these dull gray colors. Uh, one thing the kit comes with is this recommended settings there and uh, you know it says the amperage 30 amps autogenous so if you're welding it without filler metal 30 amps is probably a, a good range um, max 70 amps with filler so maybe set your machine to to 75 80 amps and then and then you know just with your foot pedal recommended gas lens a number 12 cup and up size so i have this this Furic ebw cup i believe this is a 16 size cup uh, the numbers mean for are in sixteenth increments, so a number twelve cup would be twelve sixteenths or three quarters of an inch. This one is a sixteen, so it would measure at one inch inside diameter. There, um, it helps get with good shielding, and you can get some good stick out on the tungsten there. Uh, next is back purge. So it says you must back purge tip, make sure the back side of the material is completely filled with argon before welding. So here you can see on the plate, um, it was just for practice. So you see on the top side, it was well shielded, but on the back side, there was no purge or anything there. So you can see the dull grays and stuff. Um, one thing is you want good shielding on the top side and on the back side. So what you need to get is a dual flow meter set up like this where you have your argon to your machine, and you see this black hose here, this goes to your back purge line. My back purge line, I have it routed over here to the other side of my weld table, and I just stick this end into the tube or pipe, and I can run argon and shield the back side of the weld pool. This is super important. So get yourself a dual flow meter, another hose, that way you can run purge goes on to say color you're looking for a silver to golden straw color if you're getting blues and purples you may be using too much heat or insufficient argon coverage if you're getting whites or the dull color that means there's no gas coverage and again titanium can only be welded to titanium or other titanium alloys um, so what we'll do here we'll go and we'll do some probably do some of these these pie cuts and and see how it goes I forgot one more thing, the gas flow, you wanna run it at 35 to 40 CFH on the cup side. I would go on like smaller diameter pie cuts like this when you're purging the backside, I'd keep it minimal. You wanna keep it, you know, maybe eight to 15 CFH there, you don't need much. Um, and then you should be good there as well. tacked them here you can see uh, some of my tacks like this one you know I did my best cleaning it and um, you see probably still some contamination there see right here on the outside of the weld pool you're still seeing some colors um, but for practice I think this is gonna work out really well um, one thing to note is I did tack this all without purge on the back side so 
You can see some dull greenness there. It's kind of hard to see, but it wasn't purged on the backside for the tacks. Um, we'll see how it looks after I start welding because I'm going to purge it for welding and we'll see how it comes out. Well, the best way to to cap the ends or the simplest way is with something that almost everyone has and that's aluminum foil baby that stuff works really well you can go fancy and buy some perch plugs um, which I do have them but for the purpose of this video I just wanted to use foil so everybody has foil in their house you can use it you can cap the ends with it one thing you can do as well you pop a little hole in there tungsten pop a hole in there that way you can also evacuate the air that's inside there and replace that all with argon so I'm gonna move forward and cap cap the end get the purge line in and start welding one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some of the joints without filler metal then I'm gonna weld up oh, one or two of the joints with filler metal just to see how it goes So I got the back purge going on there. We're gonna let it purge, purge it out for a minute or so, and uh, then it'll be ready for welding. So what I'm doing here is I have my dual flow meter. I got it running right now at about 15 CFH. So I welded up this practice piece, and let's see where it started, you'll be able to tell. You can see here, that's kind of where I started. Um, wasn't getting hot enough there. There's a spot kind of right here too where it didn't look hot enough either. But you can see here, my consistency started getting better. That's where I started. And then I started getting better and better. Then it started looking really good right here. It's pretty good tie-ins. The inside was kind of hit and miss. It's probably a little hard to tell, but you can see in the spots where I, it did look good on top, I also got really good penetration on the inside. You can also see the color in here is silver. So it shows that I'm getting good purge. Same here, uh, I do have lack of penetration in some spots, but uh, for a practice, I think it came out good.
just finished up the <clears throat> titanium pie cuts and Tycon with their kit will send you a set to make a 45 degree angle. This one is inch and three quarter pie, making a 45, uh, five pieces total. And you can see here, uh, I felt like I started out pretty good and then my dang purge plug started burning on me on one end. That's why I started stopped welding. I was actually on this side. That's why I stopped welding it on that side because it was starting to burn on me and then I was getting a little thrown off and was seeing some blues and purples and stuff. But um, for practice, this ended up being really good. I feel like when I do these for actual products in the future, um, I'll definitely have it down. The inside too, it looks like I just need to be careful on my restarts. And the purge is pretty good. I think just like I said, I messed the plug was burning on me. So I wasn't getting good coverage at the beginning on one spot, but I'm getting silver almost everywhere else. So the main thing here to remember <clears throat> is, you know, argon. Titanium has to be shielded. So use your argon about 35 to 40 CFH torch side. I was using about 10 to 15 CFH on the purge. Make sure you're clean, clean, clean. Use acetone. And you should be good. Remember your post flow, leave your post flow at like 10 to 12 seconds. Don't pull the torch away or your filler metal. And you should be pretty good.